My name is Nisarg and I am a member of UiPath community. I have built an automation to help predict diabetes using AI center and apps. I have created this workflow because as you see, as you look at this number, the total number of people with diabetes will rise from 11 million in 2000 to almost 20 million by 2025. So if the number is definitely going to rise a lot, we definitely need strong mechanism and strong set of algorithms to predict based on the medical reports, because this is going to be the need of the future. Everything is being digitalized. So why not this? So let us look at how is it exactly going to work? So I have already created a bot or a application UiPath app, which helps me to predict the diabetes. Now, if I simply say run from here, now look at this, how it works. Okay. You won't believe this very, very, very easy to use and a very nice one to have a background with. So you have to enter the glucose value here. So there are six things, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven input fields are required. First is the glucose value. Second is the blood pressure amount, skin thickness, insulin value, BMI, diabetic predict, uh, pedigree function and age. So based on all these seven parameters, it is going to predict diabetes. And also it is going to give us the accuracy of the machine learning extraction, which is the confidence of the machine learning extraction. So you can also decide whether you want to, uh, you know, you want to predict, uh, you want to make it accurate or not. You want to believe it or not. Okay. So there are seven fields here. The first field is glucose. I have a couple of data. I'm definitely not going to uh, open anybody's blood test report. So I have some sample data here uh, and the outcome of this sample data are already decided. Correct. So now we are going to check whether our bot is correct or not. So bots answer bots prediction. We are going to write it here. So we'll say bot prediction. Okay. Now let's check whether our bot is correct. So I have first person whose glucose value is 148. Okay. Blood pressure is 72. I don't know what is the parameter that is, that is measured with, but, uh, that is the standard parameter. I believe, oh, sorry. I missed some value. Okay. So insulin is zero. Let's say, uh, BMI 33.6, uh, diabetes pedigree function is 0.62. 7 and age is 50. So according to the report, this person has diabetes based on this data set. Okay. Now let's try to check whether our bot predicts it accurately or not. So I'm going to click on this predict button and that's it. Now look at this UI robot here. It is going to run a robot and this UI robot is going to run the bot behind the scene and try to predict based on the data set, which we have entered, whether the person has diabetes or not. So you'll get the answer here. So let's say what is the answer before I show you the answer. So the person has diabetes. Okay. And we need to know the bot's prediction. As you can see here, bot has predicted it is diabetic. That means this person has diabetes and the prediction accuracy is 0.8065. That is 80.65%, 80 which is great. So we just predicted whether a person has diabetes based on the blood test report of a person, which was made for diabetes patients. Now, this is how you can leverage the integration level of machine learning app, low coding app feature and a workflow creation. Now, this is how great it is. So accuracy, as far as uh, we see, this is correct. So let's navigate to the next one. So let's see this data, which has 85% of glucose. So 80 glucose, blood pressure value is 66. Skin thickness is 29. Insulin is zero and be like that. So 26.6 uh, is the BMI value. Diabetes pedigree function is 0 0.351 and age of this person is 31. So based on all these parameters, we are going to predict whether this person has diabetes or not. And guess what? This person doesn't have diabetes in actual. So this is the real outcome. And we are going to check whether bot predicts it correctly or not. I'm going to click on predict. And let's for the bot. Now let's wait for the bot. Now you can see your bot has already started execution. Now bot is running right now in background and you can see the result in some time. So it is taking some time to process. It is using the TPOT auto ML classification model. Uh, and we will wait for the response. So this is still the old response, which is diabetic and 0 0.806578. We'll wait for the correct response right now. 
it is taking its own sweet time do i need to refresh or something okay let's try to refresh here uh let's try to run the same bot again okay so let's try to enter the second values again uh we missed the data here okay so the values were 85 for glucose uh for blood pressure it was 66 for skin thickness it was 29 for insulin it was 0 bmi value was 26.6 diabetes uh pedigree function is 0.351 and age is 31 and let's predict so now if our bot predicts correctly i mean if our bot gives you that the patient doesn't have diabetes and the accuracy is more than uh, let's say at least 70% then we can believe on this reports correct so that means our bot is predicting correctly non diabetic and that is also with 0.91 that is 91% of accuracy so this bot predicted with almost 80% of accuracy okay bot predicted this one with 90% of accuracy i'm going to write it 90% here let's say write it roughly 80% here that this is also correct what predicted is very correctly correct now let's look at this data okay so i'm going to refresh this one again and uh, let's see how so how are we going to predict if our report is 100% accurate then this is going to be a very very wonderful use case in the market right now so let's look at uh, how can we do that so skin thickness is 0 insulin is 0 bmi is this value diabetes oh sorry for all that to be free uh and uh age is 32 so this person has diabetes okay this person has diabetes and let's see what bot predicts if bot predicts that this person has diabetes with the accuracy then we are our application is clearly working correct okay so let's wait for that and uh the bot is still running in background and what is it trying to predict perfect so this person has diabetes and it is the accuracy is 74.75 so almost 75% okay and the prediction is correct i mean it is exactly accurate now let's look at the fourth data for this particular person who has who doesn't have any diabetes so this is for non diabetic person so let's see let's copy this data here one by one and once we check all the accuracies of all this particular uh people's data uh, people data then we are going to go ahead and look at how this bot is exactly integrated and how can we leverage this bot sorry i didn't copy this correctly so insulin value is 94 uh bmi is 28.1 diabetic pedigree function is 0.167 and the age of this person is 21 let's predict now this person doesn't have diabetes and the bot prediction should be no diabetes okay non diabetic person and prediction should be more than at least 75% or 70% so we can believe on the data set and exactly this is this person is non diabetic as the bot has predicted as you can see on screen and the accuracy is 97.80 which is almost 98% so 98% accuracy that is very correct i mean way to correct uh and now all the accuracy of this bot depends on the last data so let's go ahead and let's try to predict what happens at the end of this particular data set so we have the last patient here and the last patient's data glucose 137 blood pressure is 40 skin thickness is 35 insulin is 168 bmi is oh sorry 168 bmi is 43.1 uh Diabetes pedigree function is two point two eight eight. Age is thirty three. And let's predict. Let's wait for the outcome, and we will try to verify whether our data is correct. So let's look at the accuracy. This person has diabetes, though. So let's see if bot predicts it very accurately, and bot has completed the execution, and the uh, and the bot has predicted it diabetic. and with more than 75% accuracy which is 76.23 which is 76% so this is also correct and with this we can say our bot has predicted totally 100% accuracy for all these patients which we had records of and bot has predicted correct for each and every one of them with more than 75% of accuracy now i know you're really interested 
Now, how we created, how did I create this particular application? So I know you are very, very interested and let's look at how I created this application. It is very easy. So the first thing you should have is the data set, obviously for machine learning training. For that, I used Kaggle's uh, Pima Indian data, uh, diabetic data set. So I use this data set. You can download it from here in a CSV format. And then I converted that data into training and test set of data. So always remember train data set is 80%, test data set is 20%. I used UiPath's TPOT model, which is, let's, so I have, I'm currently in UiPath AI fabric, okay? Now, as you can see here, this is the project for diabetes prediction. And if you go to ML packages out of the box package here in the tabular data, I'm using TPOT auto ML classification model because I just need to predict whether a person has diabetes, yes or no. So it is going in a classification model. And in the classification model, I just train the data with the data set. So I uploaded the data set here, test data and train data. So data I just took from here, PIMA diabetes uh, data set. You can, you can get the data from here. And you can create the pipeline for train and evaluation. You can see I got the accuracy of 77.92% uh, when I uh, trained this model. So this model is trained with 70, almost 78% accuracy and it is predicting very correctly all the data and uh, the skill is also deployed right here. Okay, so we have made more than how many predictions? How we have made almost eight predictions, correct? And uh, you can also see the logs here. Now, once you deploy this AI fabric, uh, you know, bot or AI fabric project, which is diabetes prediction and then you need to go here in the UiPath Studio and uh, I have created a very simple UiPath workflow here, which gets all the data using arguments. So I'm taking all the data using arguments right here. Okay. <clears throat> and once you get all the data, it is, we are going to convert it into a dictionary variable, then into JSON, which is required for the diverse prediction. So the input response required is just like this, which reads feature one, feature two till feature N and target column is also accepted. And then it is going to give you predictions based on prediction zero or confidence. Okay. Once you predict the data, once you get the data, you can write it in the JSON format and you can put it into decentralization. And based on the condition of the data set, you get the output, whether it is diabetic, whether the person is diabetic or non-diabetic. And then you send that values outside using out prediction and out confidence. And once you send that value outside, what do you do? You navigate to UiPath apps and you create a very beautiful UiPath app. So let me show you how the app is structured in edit format. So what I have done is I have simply created all this input dialogues or you can say input controls, which is nothing but the text area. Predict is a button. Diabetes prediction and prediction accuracy is nothing but the label, which I want to showcase here. And if I navigate here, so I have attached the process. The process is, let me show you, the process is the diabetic prediction process, which I published on the office editor. Let me show you the office editor. So let me refresh. So diabetes prediction is the process which we published from studio. We will navigate to the app again back. So this published uh, process is connected with this particular application. And apparently I'm taking all the values here from the workflow, which are in arguments. And as soon as you click on the predict button, it is going to predict the diabetes and it is going to predict the accuracy. I mean, it is going to display the accuracy of the prediction. So this is how simple the bot creation is. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy automation.